So recently on the program, we talked about how Bernie Sanders finally called out Joe Biden because Joe Biden is quite literally shilling for the health insurance industry. I mean, he takes donations from them. He takes donations from the pharmaceutical industry. So Bernie Sanders finally realized that what he needs to do is take the gloves off once and for all and attack Joe Biden head on. And I applauded Bernie for that, but I said he also needs to be more fierce and more direct, like name drop Joe Biden more frequently because we need to know, or we need to let the American people know more specifically that this man is not fighting for them. He is a shill and he's only fighting for his donors. Um, I don't think Bernie Sanders is listening, but certainly he did something that um, I can applaud that is along what I hoped I would see from him. So he created this poll, or it really it's a quiz, and it says Joe Biden is attacking Medicare for all with lies straight out of the playbook of Donald Trump, Mitch McConnell, and the health insurance industry. Can you guess who said it? Um, so I haven't taken a look at this, so you're going to see my genuine reaction to this quiz because I'm going to take the quiz um, and see if I could pass it. But this is exactly what you need to do because this is wholesome trolling. You're trolling Joe Biden by getting people to take a quiz that will see if they can distinguish between a quote from Joe Biden, Mitch McConnell, or Donald Trump. Because it really shows you that there's really not that big of a difference between the health insurance industry, Republicans, uh, and Joe Biden, which matters in a Democratic Party primary. So let's go ahead and take the quiz. Um, and I'll just say I should probably do relatively good at this quiz because, you know, I follow politics for a living. But Joe Biden has said things that are indistinguishable from the health industry, from Republicans. So um, if Bernie constructed this in a good way, then I will get some of these wrong. So the first one, quote, Medicare goes away as you know it. All the Medicare you have is gone. See, um, I believe that Joe Biden just said something like that. But that last sentence there, um, it's kind of it's kind of iffy to me because it sounds like something that Donald Trump would say. All the Medicare you have is gone bigly. So um, that's tough. It's between Donald Trump and Joe Biden. But I'm going to say... Joe Biden here. Correct. Fact. Medicare for all will expand Medicare to cover everyone and provide the services seniors need the most, including dental care, hearing aids, routine vision exams, podiatry, and more. So not only are you um, getting the message across that what Joe Biden is saying is comparable to what health industry executives are saying and Donald Trump is saying, but he's also educating people. Bernie, this is this is brilliant. Ah, love it. Okay, so let's go to the next question. Quote, Medicare for all would really be Medicare for none. Today's Medicare would be forced to die. So I actually, I feel like I covered this quote on my show before, but um, Medicare for none. See, this is tough. And I feel like maybe he... Um, is going to have a lot of Joe Bidens in here since he's trying to drive home the point that Joe Biden sounds a lot like these health industry executives and Republicans, but it's tough. Medicare for all would really be Medicare for none. Today's health care would be forced to die. You know, I'm going to say that this is something that the United Healthcare CEO David Wickman said. No idea if this is correct. Incorrect. That was Donald Trump. Okay. Um, fact, Medicare for all will expand Medicare to cover everyone and vastly improve it by covering dental, hearing, and vision, as well as all other necessary services. Okay, so that was Donald Trump. Uh, I've got one right and one wrong. Let's continue here. Quote, 180 million Americans would lose private insurance that many of them negotiated for at work. Um, I'm pretty sure Joe Biden said something exactly like this just a couple of weeks ago. It may not be a direct quote, but he basically said this. So I'm going to say Joe Biden. Incorrect. It was Mitch McConnell. Okay. Uh, Medicare for all would guarantee health care for all and allow Americans to negotiate for higher wages instead of better health benefits. All right. Well played, Bernie. Um, quote, how many of you out there have had someone you've lost to cancer or cancer yourself? No time. We cannot have a hiatus of six months, a year, two, three to get something done. So Joe Biden definitely said something like this at the uh, Democratic Party debate. So I'm going to say Joe Biden. 
Correct. That was Joe Biden. In fact, under Medicare for all over a 40 over a four year period, we will transition to a system in which Medicare is expanded to cover everyone and end the horror of millions of people going into financial distress simply because they need care for serious conditions. OK, next question. How many of you like your employer based health care? Do you think it was adequate? Now, if I come along and say, you're finished, you can't have it anymore, well, that's what Medicare for All does. You cannot have it, period number one. There's a hiatus in between, by the way, of how long it's going to take. So just by process of elimination, we haven't had um, any quotes from David Wickman yet, so I'm going to select him, but I honestly have no idea because it could be anyone here. It was Joe Biden. Okay, okay. Fact, Medicare for All will free Americans from the greed of health insurance companies that prioritize profits over people's lives. There will be no hiatus or lapse in coverage. Over a four-year period, every American will transition off their current health insurance to Medicare for All. Now, I should say, four years is too long. I really hope that Bernie Sanders' bill reaches parity with Pramila Jayapal's. She has a two-year rollout. But what Bernie Sanders did was he allowed Kirsten Gillibrand to write that portion of the rollout. So maybe he let her write that and make it a little bit more shittier just so she'd support it. But I think Bernie, if he were elected, would rewrite it so it matches Pramila Jayapal's. Because there's no reason to wait that long and give Republicans that much time where there's uncertainty about what Medicare for All would look like, you know, and potentially get public opinion to go down. Um, okay, so there's one more question. I really want to try to get this one correct. Quote, I happen to be a proponent of a single-payer universal health care plan. I see no reason why the United States of America, the wealthiest country in the history of the world, is spending 14% of its GNP cannot provide basic health insurance to everybody. Um, okay, this, is, this one is a little bit tricky because I happen to be a proponent of single-payer health care. But then they kind of switch it towards the end to health insurance. Um... Oh, and they added Barack Obama into the mix. Um, I'm going to say Barack Obama just because that is a new one here. Correct. That was Barack Obama. So we got a little bit of a, a switcheroo at the end there. You know, he says all these things that Joe Biden said. That sounds pretty Republican-y. And then at the end, he had Obama say he supports single payer. Now, we all know that that is horseshit because um, Obama... <laughs> He didn't even push for a public option, but I see what Bernie's trying to do here. This is brilliant, by the way. This is absolutely brilliant, by the way. One other thing that I want him to do is, like, when Elizabeth Warren, she came out with a student loan debt cancellation plan, she put up a calculator so you can put your income in, and it would tell you about how much of your student debt would be canceled. He should do the same, but obviously, since he's canceling 100% of student loan debt, Every single time, the result would be zero. Uh, zero dollars would be uh, remaining. Because I think that would be great. It's not an attack on Elizabeth Warren. It's just a fact. Um, okay, so it says continue. I'm assuming this is going to be about fundraising. It's going to ask for money because that's what you've got to do. Um, yeah, so before you go, if you agree it's time that the United States guarantee health care a right for every man, woman, and child in this country, sign Bernie Sanders' petition, tell Congress to pass a Medicare for all single-payer health system. So for signing a petition, sure, I'll sign it. That email doesn't look valid. Oh, I didn't add the dot com. Submit. Okay, and then we go to the uh, donation page. Um, I am enrolled in monthly donations, so I am not going to contribute here. But um, yeah, that was great. Bernie is, um, this was a brilliant move here. He is trolling Joe Biden in not a hostile way, in a very wholesome way. And I absolutely love it. Great move by Bernie. Keep it up. I want to see more of this. And I want to see you uh, rip Joe Biden a new one because it is warranted for the way that he's been, you know, attacking Medicare for all viciously as of late. You could support the Humanist Report at patreon.com slash humanist report. But trust me, I'd have way more supporters on Patreon if that was my podcast. Sad. <laughs>